Hello everyone, welcome back. We are watching season one, episode three of The Bear. This episode is called Brigade and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do it. I didn't cause it. I can't control it. I can't cure it. I was just a victim. And because my husband drank so much, this would happen or that would happen. That's Molly Ringwald, I think. I curb that kind of chaos until the thinking changes, until the foundations change, until the chemistry changes. If there's anything good that came out of it, it's that it made me realize that the best thing for me to do is just to try to keep my side of the street clean. Just remove myself from any situation that is or could become toxic. Hmm. What is wrong with you fucking jack offs? <laughs> We're down six sauces for five drinks and a ravioli. Let's go. We are down that because you are not firing. Chef, chill. Are you Chef, out of your mind? I'm hurt. What chips? I need chips. Listen to I the words the coming chips. out of my Aren't fucking mouth. Chef. Lower your voice, please. Corner, who took my trays? Again, that's theft. Nobody took your that's trays. That's theft. They're in the oven ready. Sidney, head in the game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you please. fucking crazy? Learn how to use Jeff. a fucking Jeff. computer. Are you good? Yes. Yes? Yes, chef. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Stop. <laughs> jump from I, I just try to stay away from toxic situations toxicity and then he says jump right back into the toxicity <laughs> you really sometimes can't help it because that's just life like it's not perfect hello Kerm. morning chef chef what you doing so early i could not sleep <laughs> i'm wondering when he'll get that letter when oh. he'll find it Flashbacks. I copied them out of your books. I mean, if it's too much, oh. I can take it down. Oh, no, it looks that's, good. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The colors are wild. It gets me thinking. Oh. Right, chef. Cool. I'm, I'm excited to see his progress. I, I'm excited. Every night. Hold on, 17, chef. There's four sets of plum in that. What do you mean? There's a uh, plum wine. Plum wine? Yeah, it's a, uh, a sweet wine. You cook it, and you cook it until it becomes a uh, syrup. I like this guy. He, he likes to two learn. Two shifts, two different people just watching that's, that shit. That's a yes, chef. And then cool you have your thing. plum. Fire, eight. Which, uh, at this place, the chef wanted the gelée to be like the consistency of Haribo gummy bears, which we could never do. Mm -hmm. So, like, thick and, like, chewy? Yeah, you know, he spent every minute of, like, a year trying to figure it out. So how do you do it? Well... Feel fat. What? Feel fat congeals when it's cold. So yeah. No, that's that's right. So fire. <laughs> Fuck, man. Mission accomplished. Yeah, but all the abuse that they all suffered. Uh, any reason Michael wasn't ordering number 10s of these? English Carmen. Okay, this is a 28 ounce can, right? So why wasn't Michael buying number 10s, which are 102 ounces? They're cheaper per ounce. What I learned about Michael and the less I understand. <laughs> Rest in peace, young man. <laughs> okay. We'll begin. You run it. Respectfully, no. They create a toxic, hierarchical shit show. Mm. What is it now? Uh, a, a shit show, <laughs> but. A shit, yeah. Carm? Hot shit. Oh, hey, uh, Carm, the phone ringing. Yep, yep, I hear that. Thank you, Marcus. Manny, Angel, go ahead, you grab one. Plus, yes. Oh, mine is better, Jeff. Okay, um, <laughs> right, I'm gonna hand it over. Uh, mm, that's smart. <sighs> okay, look, I, I'm not trying to be an ass. We got a C. Guys. A C stands for chaos. That can't happen again. That's why we are going to start operating like a French kitchen. That means there's going to be a chain of command. Okay? <laughs> Everything he says, they're like mimicking. By Escoffier, and I think. Oh, Escoffier? <laughs> Love that dude. <laughs> what's up? I don't know what's going on. We're in. He needs to get with the program, or else he's going to get kicked out. And it's like I, I want him to succeed too. I was in a brigade once. What happened? Many people died. No. <laughs> okay, this is it's gonna be different. No. All right, look. This, this. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Sydney, come on. Okay, so um, as you may have heard, we are implementing a 
a French brigade. Like, I just uh, follow orders even if it leads to tension and uh, chaos and resentment and ultimately doesn't work. But yeah, that's what I do. Sorry, <laughs> I'm the Sue. Yeah. You are <laughs> the... This. Great, I know you speak English. I've heard you speak... You spoke English five seconds ago. That's fine. You're the garden mushy. Uh, Ibra? <laughs> yeah. Just the party. Yes. I accept. <laughs> yeah, just tell him Nico called. He's got my info. Okay, Nico. Some dude asking for Michael. Uh, who? Uh, Nico. All right. I'll hit him. What's that about? Nah, he's just some idiot. I got it. Don't worry about it. Oh my God. I just uh, felt like Michael was alive for a second. Hmm. Marcus, you will be... That's the CA? Yes, exactly. You know, I really could start fucking shit up if we source the bread. <laughs> Make things run smoother, calmer. Sure. I gotta run a quick air. Just hold down the board. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> just like that. So just, you know... <laughs> cool off in the cooler. Okay, looks good in here. We got this. <laughs> yeah, I'll do your shit next. Chill. Behind. Chef, what's for me? Chicken sugar using as few oven pans as possible. Fine, Different Chef, levels. come on. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Okay? Yes, I'm a fine. I'm yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Let I'm me see what happened. Nothing said you're has sure. happened. No, you two look like you joined the dumbass cult. Thank you. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> they both say thank you at the same time. <laughs> I guess if they are in a cult. What are you doing? Why? I don't understand why you would like purposely sabotage yourself because your team, yourself, it doesn't make sense. That sucks. Thanks. Thank you, Richie. Add more onions. Add more veal yes, stock. Yes, reduce. reduce. I reduce. know how to make a reduce. stock. Tina should be on onions. Yes, I chef. told her earlier, mm. like you said. To yes, chef. Yes, chef. Kind of crazy, right? Like, why would your would people just sabotage? But I understand that. Like, I've I've been on in in Sydney's position. Like, you're we're all. We're, I don't understand, but there's insecurities i guess people some people have insecurity or just they don't like change or whatever it is i don't know but it just sucks um not good so you betrayed me <laughs> you <laughs> serious chef come on clean your station maybe instead of your nails thank you you feel me plus love the wiping love that energy maybe we do it like on the floors because they are so dirty i almost broke my neck what's up where's my onions no where are my onions That's a good one. no no, this is crazy. Man, we got you. <laughs> hey, they made me do it. I swear oh it wasn't my, my God. idea. At least they I brought swear. it back. <laughs> Let me help you. Oh, no. no. Be careful. Don't. Are you sure? I am fucking sure. Are you, you sure? You me if he's sure. No. Just it's heavy. Sense. You stick to your shit. Yeah, but it's heavy. Yes, oh, my God. What are you going to... You're... You... No. No. Oh my god. Oof. Like that he just helped her with not saying a word. It sucks because he's trying to run this business, but then he's also trying to figure out these like little clues that Mike left behind. So much that they don't know about Mikey. Oh man. How's bookkeeping? It's a mess. How's our brigade? It's a mess. Kind of let everybody act like trash and really kind of came at me a little, I guess. Uh, I expect more from you. Doing your job, which is to, at times, listen to your boss. I think. This 
so different from all the other places we've been at that in order for that to be true, we need to run things differently. We should probably try to listen to each other. Mm -hmm. I went to an Al-Anon meeting. My, my brother, uh, he was an addict. Chef, that is a little too personal, I think. Really? Sorry. I was just wondering. I was going to say. I'm sorry. Like... I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Fuck brunch. Fuck brunch. I'm going to get rocked tonight. Oh, though. absolutely fucking destroyed. <laughs> It's Michael's birthday, and I'm thinking about you. Well, that was a good episode. I really liked that one. We're really getting to know each of the characters a lot more. I don't know everyone's name. I think I, I just know Sydney, Richie, Tina, but the guy who who wants to learn and and he's doing a, a lot with the bread and everything I, I really like him so maybe next episode I'll remember his name but really I mean it's so it's really cool to see their dynamic it's cool to feel like you're in a restaurant with them it is like a fly on the wall feeling and I really appreciate how it's filmed it's uh, interesting it's it just it's you feel that you're there it's stressful very stressful. I, I, I think Sydney is doing a really great job. It's really hard to be in that type of position, but I really like her communication skills. It's interesting how good communication skills can get you very far in this world. I appreciate that because I just feel like it, it like, it's hard. It's just hard. Communicating with people is hard. If you're working with people and you're, it's all hard. All of it's hard, but there's a way to do it. Each person is dealing with their own animal within them. And it's, so when you're working in a group environment or with other people, you're going to, you're going to come up against a lot. That's why it's really tough working with Richie. They, they're, but I, I'm not working with them, so it's fun for me. But if I had to work with someone like that, that would be bad. Bad. I mean, it doesn't feel good. It just sucks. We have to, it's like if you really think about it, you're working. Everyone has to work. You're spending majority of your time at a job. Why make that part more stressful than it needs to be? Like, if people could just figure that part out and be like, look, we're all going to die really soon. We don't know when. We're getting older. Life is hard. I, I have to spend hours here in this office, in the studio, in this kitchen, whatever else. Can we just be chill? And if someone just can't get on board after a long time, then they have to go or you have to go, whatever it might be. But it's just like, if, you, if you're if you just not getting out, and, and some people don't even wait a long time. Some people will just cut you right out. Like, you're fired. You got to go. Uh, but, like, if, if people could just get on board with, like, this is what we have to do. We all need the money. Maybe we really enjoy what we're doing. Maybe this is, we're, we're all talented in our own ways. Why, why sabotage? Like, Tina sabotaging that just makes no sense to me. I can't understand. I can't grasp that. But that type of personality is very real, and there's lots of people who do that. It makes no sense, but it happens, and it's infuriating. So watching that was just, like, really piss it pissed me off because I'm like, why? Why make li – life is already hard why make it harder I will never understand that I I don't understand yeah I just I, I like where the show is going for sure this episode was really awesome so I'm excited to see what happens next I'm excited to see that one dude's progress he's gonna learn a lot I'm I'm excited for him and I'm gonna I'm excited to remember and learn his name <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next episode thanks so much for watching bye everyone